Ganondorf's resurrection triggered an event that became known as the Upheaval, where the ground shook and ancient ruins rained down from a dark sky. Not only did the upheaval tear open chasms, gloom-stained pits leading all the way down into the depths, it created new networks of caves, dark tunnels that burrow through the earth, filled with forgotten treasure and guarded by Ganondorf's minions. And these caves hide a secret. Each is home to a bizarre creature known as a bubble frog. Bubble frogs are, as their name suggests, frogs. Giant frog spirits that jump across cave walls and ceilings, croaking in the dark. They seem to be afraid of Link, and will run away if they spot him, defending themselves with volleys of bubbles, which, while harmless, can stun Link temporarily. When enough damage is dealt to one, they'll shrivel up and explode, leaving behind a bubble gem and a blue pea. Blue peas are tiny spirits, blue rabbits with the faces of owls, with a mysterious connection to rupees, Hyrule's currency. They also appeared in Breath of the Wild, alongside their apparent leader, Satori, the Lord of the Mountain. But bubble frogs seem to be a new addition to this family, a strange, more monstrous form of something pure. Today, Together with the Commonwealth Realm, let's have a closer look at the Bubble Frogs. Frog spirits found within previously sealed caves might seem like a strange design choice, especially compared to the elegance of the Blue Peas and Satori itself. But the Bubble Frogs could take inspiration from the real world. For centuries, there have been reports of a strange phenomenon Someone had split open a rock, only to find a hollow center, and a live frog inside. Entombed frogs, which were a popular discussed oddity, especially in Victorian Britain. To the point where Charles Dickens mentioned the reports in his magazine. Since the 15th century, there have apparently been around 210 reported cases of entombed animals all across the globe including frogs that had been sealed within rocks apparently for hundreds, if not thousands of years. This phenomenon is now thought to be a myth, as multiple ethically questionable experiments have concluded that while frogs can sometimes survive in an apparently sealed environment for a surprisingly long time, they will eventually die. Tears of the Kingdom's caves existed prior to the upheaval, and many of them contained stonework from ancient civilizations like the Zona but they have only been accessible from the surface since the return of Ganondorf. Like the legend of the entombed frog, bubble frogs have been sealed in rocks for centuries. Only, bubble frogs aren't alive, they're spirits, apparently part of the same family as the blue peas that appear when they're defeated, and the enigmatic Satori, Lord of the Mountain. These spirits glow with a mysterious blue light, the same light as Pose in the Depths, or Zonite, or the Spirits of the Dead. Bloopies are rabbits, and are often mistaken for them at a distance, but they have the face of an owl, and two antennae, like that of a moth, or like a gilded laurel wreath. Satori is a horse, but like the Bloopies, has the face of an owl, two of them with glowing red eyes. And bubble frogs are frog spirits, with four owl faces. Link hunts bubble frogs for their bubble gems, but hitting blue peas also rewards him with gemstones, rupees. The blue peas' connection to rupees is highlighted not just by the creature's name, but also in the creature's Hyrule Compendium entry. It mentions that their origins are entirely unknown, but that they do have a penchant for collecting rupees. And in Breath of the Wild, a Korok named Peeks asks Link to show him a photograph of a blue pea, and wonders if the creatures sparkle because they're too full of rupees, even suggesting that they might make all of the rupees in the world. While rupees are the primary currency of Hyrule, there's a lot more to them than meets the eye. Rupees are hexagonal gemstones, appearing in multiple different colours that denote their value, 
They've been shown to have magical properties and can be used to empower spirits and deities, like the great fairies in Breath of the Wild. By the time Link encounters them, a century after the Great Calamity, they have shriveled away inside their fountain buds, claiming that, as so few travellers now visit them, they desperately need the power of rupees to rejuvenate themselves. So, Peaks might be right. Rupees might have magical properties because they are created by Blue Peas, which are themselves mystical and otherworldly. In Breath of the Wilds, Blue Peas could be found rarely around Hyrule, hiding in shaded forests. The exception to this is Satori Mountain, which, on nights with a waxing crescent moon, glows with an eerie blue light. On these nights, the rocky slopes of Satori Mountain, and most of all the small lake and cherry blossom tree at the summit, are crowded by the spirits. Blue Peas gather here in large numbers, together with Satori itself, the Lord of Satori Mountain. Satori seems to be an embodiment of nature, a spirit that watches over the wilderness and all of Hyrule's creatures, and has done so for over 10,000 years. In the Astral Observatory Room below Hyrule Castle, where Link faces off against Calamity Ganon, is a Sheikah tapestry of ancient Hyrule and its landmarks, as it was over 10,000 years ago. It shows the Four Divine Beasts, the Great Deku Tree, and Satori itself, staring out from Satori Mountain. This spirit, and the Blue Peas that seem to follow it, is incredibly ancient, perhaps even dating back to the time of King Raru, or beyond. Breath of the Wild's Hyrule Compendium entry for Satori notes that it is a noble creature that watches over all animals that make their homes in the forest. Legends say this holy creature is a reincarnation of a sage that died on the lands it now protects. So, this mysterious being, which now appears to be a guardian of nature and of wildlife, was once a living sage who died on Satori Mountain. Tears of the Kingdom reintroduces the concept of sages to the Zelda series, with the group of ancient sages who fought alongside King Raru against the Demon King, and the group of newly awakened successor sages who join Link in the final battle. It's possible that Satori is intended to be the reincarnated spirit of one of these sages, but it could be another sage entirely. Sages often appear throughout the Zelda series in groups of different sizes and different purposes. An easier mystery to solve is how this sage reincarnated as this spirit. Its name, Satori, is also the name for the Buddhist awakening or enlightenment, where one gains a deeper knowledge and understanding of themselves and the world around them, a central goal of Buddhism. Enlightenment can be achieved through meditation and by purging oneself of undesirable traits. So, Satori was once a sage, one who freed themselves from whatever tethered them to the mortal world, and reincarnated as a guardian nature spirit, able to watch over this world and its creatures forever. Tears of the Kingdom expands Breath of the Wild's world, and gives us a look into two fascinating locations, both directly below Satori Mountain. The first is the Satori Mountain Cave Network, not far beneath the surface, which is a winding network of tunnels reminiscent of a rabbit burrow. This is the only cave on the surface with blue peas inside. It appears to be their home. Interestingly, the cave hides a mysterious structure, one that the blue peas will guide Link towards. It is found in the center of a large chamber, and if Link ascends from the top of it, he will find himself on the shore of the small pond beneath the cherry tree, where Satori and the blue peas gathered in the previous game. The structure could be a statue of a rabbit's head, which would make sense in this burrow-like den filled with blue peas, which are much like rabbits. This cave seems to be their home on the surface. Unlike everything on the surface, this is reflected in the depths. Directly beneath Satori Mountain is Bluepea Burrow, 
This strange place was apparently once inhabited by the zone, as with most places in the depths, evident from the ruins of the buildings. But the burrow is notable for being the only place in the depths where a cherry blossom tree can be found mirroring the one on Satori Mountain directly above it. The burrow is also home, as you would expect, to Bloopies, who appear to live in the tunnels in the rocky cliffs around the tree. This is the only place they can be found in the depths. In Tears of the Kingdom, Satori is no longer only found under Satori Mountain's cherry tree on certain nights. It can be summoned by offering fruit at different cherry trees that have appeared all across the kingdom. It uses its magic to highlight caves in the surrounding area, guiding Link towards the bubble frogs that dwell within them. It seems that Satori and the Bloopies want Link to hunt them, and have completely changed their behaviour since the caves and their new spirits appeared. We can gain insight into why Satori and the Bloopies seem to guide Link on his hunt from the Bubble Frogs from the game's original language. In Japanese, Bubble Frogs are instead called Mayoi, a term which means delusion or hesitation, the inability to achieve Satori or enlightenment. Their drops, bubble gems, share the same name, indicating that these creatures are somehow the direct opposite of Satori. While they are spirits of a similar type, both connected to Bloopies, one has found enlightenment and understanding, while others are lost underground. Shooting bubble frogs releases both a bubble gem and a bloopy, implying that either both of these things had been eaten by the frog, or that by separating the bubble gem from the spirit, Link causes it to revert back into a bloopy. So, could the culprit for the bubble frog's lack of enlightenment be these mysterious gemstones? Could these bubble gems have transformed ordinary bloopies into these monstrous spirits? We're never told what bubble gems are, other than that they're some sort of gemstone, hexagonal in shape, marked with the same circular patterns as Satori and the frogs themselves, and surrounded by six of the antennae-like protrusions found on the spirits. Their descriptions only hint that finding one makes you want to collect more, and nothing else. Link isn't the only one that thinks bubble gems are worth collecting. Their entire purpose in the game is to be traded in to Colton, the younger brother of Kilton. Kilton appeared in Breath of the Wild as a wandering merchant with a bizarre love of monsters. He ran a shop called the Fang and Bone, where Link can trade in Mon, a currency converted from monster parts, in return for goods like the monster masks. Colton is every bit as strange as Kilton. He's almost identical in appearance to his older brother, only a slightly different colour. His skin is a pale, ghostly white. And while Kilton is fixated on monsters, Colton has a fascination for spirits, in particular Satori, Bloopies, and Bubble Frogs. Colton explains that it has always been his dream to become a Satori, to leave his mortal life behind and live as a spirit. Colton bears more than a passing resemblance to a classic Zelda character, Tingle. Not only are the names very similar, Colton and Tingle, their appearances are too. Both are diminutive men with similar body types. But what truly connects Colton and Tingle is their shared passion. Tingle has a strange fascination with fairies, and wants nothing more than to become one. This is of course incredibly similar to Colton's desire to become a Sator. He somehow got his hands on an ancient text, which explained that humans could transform into Satori if they consumed bubble gems. He heard rumours that bubble frogs had been spotted lurking in nearby caves, and glowed just like Satori. So Colton set out to catch it and claim its bubble gem, until he found the creature too fast and agile for him to catch. Colton having an almost identical brother also ties back to Tingle, who employs his brother's ankle and knuckle, as well as David Jr., a man who isn't actually related to the others, but just looks similar. 
maybe Kilton and Colton have all the siblings we haven't seen yet. Colton seems to refer to Blue Peas as Satori. Breath of the Wild established that the Lord of the Mountain was unique, and his name was Satori. It could be that Satori is being used as the name for this family of spirits with owl faces, but regardless, the creatures Colton is obsessed with, and which he wants to become, are Blue Peas. Either way, Colton finds that just one bubble gem isn't enough to transform him, and so sets up Kilton's shop in order to trade Link items from his collection in return for more of the stones. The more bubble gems Colton eats, the more his mystical powers grow. Eventually, he is able to sense the presence of nearby bubble frogs, perhaps in a similar way to how Satori is able to mark caves near to it, though he himself admits that his powers aren't yet perfect, and he cannot sense them all. Among the treasures offered to Link in return for bubble gems is the Mystic Armor Set, apparently crafted with prayers to spirits. The Mystic Armor is a set of samurai armor designed after Satori and the Blue Peas, with the same swirling patterns and the face of a Blue Pea on the headpiece. It's apparently incredibly old. Colton mentions that ancient texts describe its abilities, perhaps the same ancient texts that had told him about the uses of bubble gems. And the prayers that went into its creation seem to have worked. The set grants Link the Rupee Padding ability, allowing him to lose rupees rather than hearts when damaged, exactly like how Blue Peas behave when hit. Colton's ancient text notes that this means that the Mystic Armor will protect the wearer, but also prevent them from becoming rich. Maybe it was once worn by the sage who reincarnated as the Lord of the Mountain, or a previous incarnation of Link. Colton mentions how it's just his size. Once Link has found and defeated all Bubble Frogs, and traded every last gem to Colton, his dream is realized. Upon consuming the last gems, his skin glows with an eerie blue light, and his eyes shine white. He gifts Link a paraglider fabric of his own making, claims he has no regrets, and is gone. Colton vanishes in a flash of light, leaving only a blue pea in his place, who runs off into the distance before disappearing. It's a melancholic ending to this questline. Unlike Tingle, who constantly talks about wanting to become a fairy yet never does, Colton actually does it. He completes the transformation, and begins a new life as something he doesn't fully understand. Kilton is surprisingly accepting of his younger brother's fate. He claims that he is sure Colton is happy, and chooses to move their stall to his brother's favourite spot, Satori Mountain, the home of the spirits, where it rests beneath the cherry tree, surrounded by blue peas. The ancient texts Colton read were right. Bubble gems do contain enough power to transform a mortal into a blue pea. This marks an interesting parallel between the gems and the Zonai Secret Stones, powerful artifacts that amplify their holders' abilities, which can be swallowed in order to transform someone into a dragon. The Zonai are closely connected to dragons, so it isn't surprising that their greatest creations can turn a mortal into an eternal dragon, just as, in turn, the Bubble Gems, so closely connected to Satori and the Blue Peas, can transform a mortal into one of them. But this still doesn't answer our main questions. What exactly is a Bubble Gem? And what is the story behind the creatures that drop them? Again, bubble gems are dropped by bubble frogs upon defeat. As Colton puts it, they are baubles that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. This is obviously very similar to the other baubles dropped by spirits when they're feeling weak, rupees. 
Like rupees, bubble gems are hexagonal gemstones dropped when a spirit is damaged. And aside from the coloration and the six golden feathers that surround it, bubble gems are almost identical to rupees, only rarer and perhaps more powerful and more valuable. It could be that the flaw of the bubble frogs, the reason they are trapped in an eternal doubt and unable to achieve enlightenment, is greed, one of the traditional three poisons. Frogs and toads are often associated with greed, like the legend of the Jin Chan, or money frog. The story of the money frog is an ancient Chinese myth with many different versions but it's usually depicted as a bullfrog with red eyes, three legs, and with a coin in its mouth, as well as seven diamond spots down its back. Like the money frog, bubble frogs also have a sort of coin inside them in the form of a bubble gem, and while they don't have seven diamonds on their back, they do feature gold, gem-like spheres down their spine. Bubble gems are exceptionally beautiful stones, ornate and shining with brilliant, sacred power, enough power to transform a Hylian into a Bloopy. It could be that these gems are the objects of their desire. These spirits covet and hoard these magical stones, an act which corrupts and damns them until Link intervenes, separating the spirit from the gemstone. This would add another level of meaning to the mystic armor, which, again, offers protection to the wearer at the cost of preventing them from becoming rich. Sacrificing wealth seems to be important to these spirits, something which the bubble frogs have failed at. Greed has been the central theme behind collectible items in Zelda games in the past, like the gold sculptures in Ocarina of Time, who cursed a rich family in Kakariko Village due to their greed, or Giovanni in Twilight Princess, who sold his soul to pose for incredible wealth, but instead found himself turned to gold and immobilized. So, while Bloopies have a strong connection to Rupees, either creating or collecting vast quantities of these magical stones, the bubble frogs might be guilty of hoarding the greatest or most beautiful among them, a sin which prevents them from reaching enlightenment like the Satori, dooming them to lurk forever in their dark caves, trapped in a new form that reflects their greed. Bubble gems look like more ornate, more valuable rupees, something that evokes greed in even the pure-hearted, like Link. As the description notes, collecting one bubble gem only makes him want to find more. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more Zelda content. A huge thank you to Conrad from the Commonwealth Realm for joining me on this one. Be sure to jump over to his channel for the counterpart video discussing the depths dark skeletons. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.